today. Thank you for joining me for another live stream session with me, Stu Fuchs, and Ukulele Zen. I am just really grateful to you all for showing up, whether you're watching this live or as a replay. Please drop a hello in the chat. I'm so glad to see uh, so many folks already gathered today. In turn, by Pete Seeger, we're going to be learning the sections of the song. And throughout this lesson, I'll be zooming in on my hands, taking you through things in a detailed and easily understandable way. So before we begin, a couple of things. First of all, I um, wanted to say that uh, this video, YouTube will probably put some advertisements on it because we're playing a very famous song and they will definitely put some advertisements on it. I hope that this does not disrupt your uh, your enjoyment of it. I see there's some f great folks in the, in the house already. Hi, Heidi. Glad you're here. Val. Mark is here from Maine, right next door. I'm over here in Vermont. Norway's in the house. Sven, so glad you're here. E Eduardo from Italia. Glad you're here. John from Long Island. Stan in Leavenworth, Washington. I'm so, so happy to see so many folks here, some regular folks and some new friends. Ernst, I already see your question. Looking forward to an embellishment at the end of the chorus. We're going to be talking about that and some embellishments. So uh, a couple things about this song before we begin. You may like to have a cup of tea handy or coffee or just some water because we're going to be doing a lot of singing. Over the course of this lesson, I hope you'll stay all the way through it because we're going to be, just like the Halloween lesson, we're going to be having a brief musical meditation, something to center ourselves, and using our voice and our instrument to really warm ourselves up. Because this song has a lot of high notes, I kept it in the original key of D major. Because it has some high notes, I like to share some warm-ups, some vocal warm-ups that I think will help you. And those of you who are members of the Patreon community, you know that every month I offer a meditative singing lesson. So this will be a little sample of that. The voice can be strengthened, it can be improved, and I totally understand and can really resonate with the idea of maybe singing is not very comfortable for you. Believe me, it was not comfortable for me either. I also received some messages from some early music teachers uh, that maybe I should just mouth the words, the typical kind of stuff that people experience sometimes coming up in music. Well, I'm here to share with you that all of those things can be healed and reversed. And remember, there is no one on earth with your voice. It's a unique just for you. So let's honor it and uh, we'll begin our lesson with our musical meditation in just a moment. Saying hello to a few more people. Please drop some hellos in the chat. Oh, Michael is here from Portola, California. California dreaming, Leslie. You know, I heard from uh, Leslie and a few others who are members of the community on Patreon that they saw the birds early in their, you know, in the, in the 60s and when they were active. So I think that's so great. You got to experience them live. This song is, of course, an adaptation of the book of Ecclesiast <coughs> Excuse me. Ecclesiastes. Am I pronouncing that incorrectly? I probably am. And there's the divine <clears throat> making me clear my throat. Let's begin with warming up and centering ourselves just for a moment. You know, as long as we're gathered together and we're here to learn, we might as well go deep. So let's enjoy three sounds of the bell. And as we listen to the bell, invite you to just come in a comfortable, upright and relaxed position with your feet on the floor. And just begin to breathe deeply and slowly as we enjoy three sounds of the bell.
Breathe in such a way that your breath is even and slow, softening the muscles on your face, your scalp. Follow your in-breath and follow your out-breath. Breathe in such a way that your breath is smooth and slow, silent if possible through your nose and out your nose. And allow a little half smile to bloom on your lips, smiling to life, smiling to the great mystery that we all get to experience. Thank you. I understand, of course, you came here for a ukulele lesson, and we're going to have one. Never a bad idea to take a few moments before you begin playing, just to take a few breaths, offer up a prayer, perhaps, some gratitude. Coming home to the here, coming home to the here and now. So thank you for joining me. Now let's bring this same energy. You know, this is concentration, but I want to invite you to perhaps um, open your definition of concentration a bit. Instead of a forcing concentration, the concentration that we're working to cultivate here is the same kind of concentration that's effortless. When you pick up a beautiful seashell, walked on the beach and found a beautiful piece of seashell or a piece of driftwood. You don't have to try very hard to concentrate on that. And as you warm up with your ukulele, I'd like you to you know, finger your D major chord and listen to it with the same kind of relaxed fascination that you would if you saw a beautiful sunset. We don't have to really try to concentrate on something that brings us great delight. This is a practice. It's not a perfection. This is just a practice to just spend a few moments really listening to what's present, paying attention to the sensations in our body as we touch the instrument, Remaining connected to our breathing. We could take that just one chord change and make a little meditation out of it. How lightly can you move the hand? How gracefully can you stroke the strings? So this is a kind of concentration where our, our, our consciousness is just coming to rest. We're not forcing it. We're just inviting it to rest. How's this feel so far? Let me know in the chat. Appreciate you being here. And hey, if you're enjoying yourself so far, please reach out and tickle that like button. It really does help my YouTube channel in a great way. So thank you. Now, the introduction is a beautiful, uh, beautiful passage. It's actually a very complex passage that Roger McGuinn, the 12-string guitarist, one of the leaders of the birds, played. And before we get into that, let's keep a meditative space as we warm up our singing. I'm going to play a uh, drone. This is the Indian Tanpura. 
I hope you can hear it. I'm also going to be holding down my D chord. Because there are many high notes, we want to train ourselves to be in tune and settle into the low notes. It's just like the roots of a tree allowing the branches to reach higher. So let's take a deep breath together. Take a deep breath together with me and sigh. That's it. What we're doing with the sigh is we are relaxing our voice box and getting in touch with what is the actual physical sensation of air coming through. And now allow your sigh to settle into the most natural pitch. I'm going to lead you through some structured singing in a moment, but for right now, just Step one, after you sigh, just allow your voice to find whatever pitch is natural. With no effort, it's as if you've left a, let a little bit of air out of the balloons. Your lungs are like balloons. And this is a very different sensation than singing in a forced way, right? Instead of forcing it out, ah, ah. We're allowing a little bit of sigh to blend into the note. Okay, let's try this together. Please join me. Ah. We're singing the sound of ah. It's the most open sound that your throat can make. And if you have gravel or some gunk in your throat, that's cool. It's all welcome here. It will clear. Ah is a beautiful way to open up the voice. So now let's sing a few pitches, call and response. Ah. We're going to move down to a C sharp. Now we're going to continue. I encourage you to sometimes scoop up into the note, like siren into it from below. So when you approach the note from below, it's a more relaxing feeling. And you can begin to hear the pitch. Uh... And for now, no vibrato. We're just training ourselves to have an in-tune sound in a relaxed way. How you feeling so far? Let's continue. Let's sing. so glad you're here help me help you tune we're tuned to G C E A I'm playing a low G tuned ukulele let's continue down the scale uh... If you're not already, please move your hands. Enjoy the maestro effect, you know, just like a conductor, like an opera singer. It's very powerful to move your hands as you sing, okay? So here we go. We're going to go down a little lower now. Ah. Uh... back 
back up. Take a deep breath in. Sigh. You know, any critical voices that you might have about your singing, they will evaporate immediately when you're really listening. If we're really listening, there's no room for any of those captions. And when they show up, and they will show up, we smile at them. We don't have to believe them. Right now, you are making the choice to sing and to train your voice. So tell those voices, hey, thanks for your opinion. I got it from here, okay? <laughs> it's just a little consultant that you don't have to listen to, right? So let's go a little lower now. We were moving down the D major scale. Okay, we've run out of notes on my ukulele. We're going to sing anyway. Uh... nice uh, can we go a little lower uh, uh, a little lower uh, <laughs> thank you for listening to the frogs in my throat ladies you can sing up an octave of course now, this is a condensation, a, co a condensed version of a singing warm-up, but you go down a scale to really train yourself. Diaphragmatic support, an open, relaxed feeling by sighing into the note. Uh... Trey Romano, love the ahs, yeah. Ah, long-term effects of singing ah, it really will relax you. Think about it, folks. We're going to play the tune in a minute, but just think about this. What sound do you make intuitively when you return home, <laughs> put your suitcases down, ah, right? <laughs> when you taste something delicious, mmm, ah. Right. So we these are like hardwired vibrations in us. And when we consciously choose to sing them, they can have a wonderful mood elevating effect. OK, now let's begin to explore a bit of the melody now. OK, we're going to now take this idea of singing in a relaxed way into form. To everything. But first, let's just eye ah it. Okay, we're just going to strum a D chord. One more time. Come on. Ready? Breathing in. Let's add the ukulele chords to everything. Turn, turn, turn. There is a season. Turn, turn, turn. Are you feeling a little more confidence, a little more control of your pitch? Warming up for just a few minutes makes a big, big difference. Go and get some water. Go and get some tea if you need to. I'll be here waiting. 
Now we are going to cover the introduction, we're going to keep on playing, but I think you can feel that warming up the voice is a great, great way to put you in a state of mind where you're just more musical, all right? So anytime I've been part of any project, a theater, orchestra, or any other band, um, it was always wonderful to... Um, to begin things in a relaxed way. And when I began to work with more higher level artists, I found that they almost never rushed into anything. And I being green and a newbie was wondering, why are we taking so long? Now I understand why. You warm up, you settle yourself and things just begin to flow. The other part of the melody Let me show you on my on my up close camera here. That's the melody. Now, of course, when the in the birds version, there's so much gorgeous harmony from the other singers, David Crosby singing. But we're just we're playing the the you know the main melodic phrase. wonderful thing happens when you really practice one bit, one little nugget of melody, it will improve your connection to the instrument. So anything you play from here on out will be strengthened. Those melody notes are second fret. It's right inside the D chord. Second fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret, second string, and then open, and then back down. Third fret, second string, second fret. Yeah. The last part. So, and a time to every purpose under heaven. And you might find that as you, you you also start to extract more meaning from whatever song you're playing when you begin in this way. Even a hot rockin' song, you know, you can just get more nectar out of it. A song like this with a deep message, deep spiritual message, can take you to some wonderful places. I'm so glad, M.A. Allen, M.A. Allen, I'm so glad you're here. Now, for those of you who are still hanging out, Thank you for your patience. Let's play a little bit. We're going to pick up the tempo, but just for now, let's focus on a very simple strum. You may like to use your thumb or your index or even a pick, but just keep the strum simple. The chord changes are not very difficult and there are diagrams up there. Here's our first note. Remember to sigh. Ah, ready? To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time. Under heaven. Sounds like a church hymn. Go figure. Um, and by the way, those of you who um, attend a church or any uh, place of worship, fantastic song to bring to your community. Um, I want to quickly go through those chord changes for uh, just to clarify anything. To everything. All right, that's the first um, first chord, not not very difficult. And then we go to G. Turn. Now I want you to pay attention to your ring finger here. Okay, it's a guide finger. Okay, so you slide it up. Now watch, you're gonna slide it back down, and you form this shape of F sharp minor, second fret, first fret, second fret. Open. Can you feel that? 
ring finger is sliding. Okay, and then look, all you have to do is lift up that finger and you get to A. All right, always a good idea, even if you've been playing chords like this forever, never a bad idea to get into these details. Helps you to relax and really internalize them. The last part. And the time. Same motion again. We move down to F sharp minor. To every. These two fingers move across purpose. A major. Under heaven. And then we get this suspension. You can add your pinky. Lift off these fingers so it's just two fingers on the D chord and then back. It's a very common sound. So many songs use that. Thank you Johann Sebastian Bach for um, for your beautiful Western harmony because you hear this in so many places so thank you Bach. You may like to use one finger. See how I did that? Or you can use your pinky. All right, let's play a little bit. Keep a little tempo. Breathe often. Thank you for being here. One, two, two, everything. Turn, turn, turn. There is a season. Turn, turn, turn. Breathe in. And a time to every purpose under heaven. Yeah, cool. <laughs> now we're ready for the real high notes. This would take some more warm up, but you can train yourself. You know, we went down the scale. And you get up to that high note. Now, little power tip that I learned about singing high notes. Really want to feel your diaphragm root in, okay? Really feel it drop a little bit. Breathe in and don't forget to sigh. Don't force it. Did you hear I let a little bit of air out with a sigh? Power tip two, use your falsetto. Just send it up to falsetto. That's totally cool. Um, it's fine with me. It's not cheating. <laughs> There's no such thing as cheating in music. You make the sound or you don't, you know? A time to be born, a time to die. <clears throat> and well done falsetto is a beautiful, beautiful sound. So um, you can play it any like any way you like. And you might like to feed yourself the note before you play it. So we get to the end of this right here. There's I'm feeding myself the note. Hearing it before I have to sing it. Ready? And the time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, time to kill. A time to heal. Here's where it gets quite high. Okay, so we got to get all the way up there to that high F sharp. Annette, I'll address your question in just a sec. Thank you. Uh, falsetto. Or I can belt it out. Belting is pushing a little more, but you can learn to safely belt. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to laugh, a time to eat. Yeah, and 
there's always a break. You hear I stop the strum at the end of the chorus and the end of the verse. Okay, am I going too slow? Am I going too slow? We can pick up the pace. I always feel that sometimes I'm going a little slow, but then I get the feedback that, no, nope, you're not going too slow. This is the pace we need. And this is the pace that I like to work on everything. Very, very slow and steady. Now, um, let's hang out with that with this section and just sing it and have a good time. Appreciate you being here. The strum pattern on the Ds, please. Yes, so Leslie, here's what we got going on. A time to laugh. A time to That is the straightforward version. I'm going to show you another one. But one more time, let's do this together. Two strums on D, one strum with the suspended, one with the other suspended, and then back. Okay? Don't forget to smile at your hand, it really does make a difference. Two, three, join in. One, two, three. Let's do it again. Un, du, fa, ga. All right. Now we can add other rhythms, but this is the rhythm of the hand. All right. How loose is it? Can it make, make that change with ease? Another thing you can do. So I'm beginning to bring it in on an up strum on an up beat. One and two and three and four. One, two, two everything. Okay, and then we'll continue. Let's practice that together. One, two, here we go. One and two and three and four. All right. And don't forget the power of just using your voice. Just say ba 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 ba, and then copy. You can say it and play it at the same time. Ba 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 ba. There's a massively important musical skill using your voice with your instrument. If you can say it, you can play it. All right. It sounds simple, and it works. All right. Glad you're still here. Um, Tiniki, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Hey, thanks for joining me. We're going to keep on going. If you're enjoying this so far, please reach out. Tickle the like button if you haven't already. Please subscribe to this channel. There are a bunch of uh, cool links down below to some things. And if you would like to support this broadcast, it is made possible by the generous, loving support of a wonderful community on Patreon. Please click the links below. You'll get some cool membership perks each and every month. And I'm so grateful for all the support of the patrons out there. Mwah. Me and my family are very, very grateful to you all. So thank you so much. And yeah, my little boy was uh, singing this earlier today. I should have videotaped it. All right. Let's keep on going. Any questions? Drop them in the chat with a bunch of questions before and a bunch of question marks after so I can see. Um, Someone was asking about um, about baritone chord shapes. So an F sharp minor. I've got a six string baritone right here. Hang on. <laughs> this is a six string baritone ukulele. Ha ha. So um, if you're going to be playing baritone, you're essentially playing a guitar without the bottom two strings. So I can demonstrate. A, an F sharp minor chord, well, you would have to play this shape, which looks like a B minor on the on the standard ukulele. So how about we just play the song for a while and then um, we'll get into the introduction. The introduction is pretty complex. The original is played on a 12 string guitar in a very uh, complicated way. Roger McGuinn was a great guitar player. 
and for me to put it on ukulele it was just not going to happen because uh, it's an entirely different instrument with a different tuning. But what I did do was I did my best to create an introduction that would be interesting. Why don't we just learn it right now? I thought a nice strumming intro would be a good way to begin. So you can still get the same character of the melody, and I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. Let's strum D, G, D, G, D, G. Okay, that's the first motion. Then you're going to play F sharp minor, E minor 7, and then A. Those are the five chords that you need. Okay? So now I'm going to zoom in on my hand and show you what I'm doing. The rhythm is down, down, up. I changed the G on an up strum, which to some may not be difficult to do. But it takes some skill to down, down on an up strum. Come in early with that G. Down, down, up. Then you move to F sharp minor, and you're going to do the same idea here. Down, down, up. And then two strums of A. And I'm muting in between each one to really make them crisp. Two, three, four. So that's the simplified uh, introduction. The one that we all know from the recording. That's the texture that pops emerges from a very complex bunch of guitar playing. So what you can do is you can play those notes and then go back to this and just play F sharp minor to A to get that same melody on top. Okay, it's a little bit of a compromise because what's played on the guitar is very complex. I think the strumming intro sounds really nice. Let's try it one more time, and then we're going to play the entire song. Thank you for joining me, and uh, I hope that that you and your season are going well. This is a beautiful song for any time of year, but especially here in the autumn. If you live in a place where leaves fall from trees, you know what I mean. One, two introduction here we go down down up down down up down 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 up down down up down 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 up down down up to everything turn 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 there is a season, turn, 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 and a time to every purpose under heaven. Time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to reap, time to kill. And a time to heal, a time to laugh, a time to weep. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose. Under heaven, a time to build up, a 
time to break down, a time to dance, and a time to mourn. A time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones together. To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven. <coughs> Excuse me. Three, four. A time of love and a time of hate. A time of war, a time of peace A time that you may embrace A time to refrain from embracing To everything turn, turn, turn There is a season time to every purpose under heaven a time to gain a time to lose a time to rent and a time to sow a time for love a time for hate a time for peace I swear it's not too late if you're comfortable you can sing uh, sing freely on top of it find your own way out of the song hey thanks for playing along my goodness that f sharp is a high note ah. <laughs> see you get to witness me trying my best and i appreciate you showing up and jumping in with yours so i want to answer some questions and uh, also get a little bit into uh, some finger style before we wrap up. You know, when you're playing a song like this, you can find all kinds of finger style patterns. So that's the first one that comes to my fingers, and I'll show it to you right now. Okay. And this is something that we will be covering in the bonus lessons um, for patrons at the uh, $5 tier. Here's a little sample of some finger style. So that's the crux of it. It's going to sound a little different on a high G, but it's the same idea. You pinch or pluck the fourth and the first string at the same time. Just get comfortable with that. And then your middle finger is going to pluck the second string, index on the third string, and then back to the ring. doesn't quite sound like the music yet. What we're doing is treating each one of these strokes the way we did when we were meditating. Just get really fascinating, fascinated with, the, with it. 
stop, do it again. When you practice, if you're still hanging out and you, you know, when you practice, one thing at a time, drop by drop, the bucket gets filled. Doesn't really help us to do. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I can execute it, but if it doesn't feel uh, like you can do it with ease, looping it over and over again, you're not ready to do that yet. But good news. You can be ready in one or two minutes if we just take each one and just try to shoot a bullseye with it. So again, I'm plucking ring and thumb, middle, index, ring. And if we're willing to do that, it won't be long. So we can do several of them in a row. Now we're going to apply this pattern to the next chords. So I was moving from D to G. And then to F sharp minor and A. You can, of course, ad lib. You can put a little strum in there, whatever you like, you know. Here are those four chords, D, G, F sharp, A, T, four. Let me give a little space there for the time signature. You can fill it in with other picks. Now, you know how we were talking just a moment ago about just drop by drop, shooting a bullseye one thing at a time? Now let's apply that to the larger um, to the larger passage. At first we were just doing it just for one pattern. Getting that thing so relaxed, really confident. Now let's do the same thing with the chords. Okay, so we're gonna do just D, G, F sharp minor, A. Okay. Two, three, four. might need to fill a little time in. You say, oh, I'm just plucking, plucking, plucking. Two. Ding a ding a do. Oh. Okay. Next, begin just to uh, freely sing over it. Or if you're comfortable, add the notes. All right, so we're starting to apply some finger style to this to this song. Next, when we get to this part, ah. I just changed the pattern a little bit. And what I'm trying to do with this last part of this lesson is, yes, I'm showing you a specific finger style pattern, but what I really hope that you'll do is to take this finger style pattern and use it as a template for your own explorations. That template is pinch, middle, ring, excuse me, pinch, middle, index, ring. Pinch, middle, index, ring. The two strokes of the ring finger Friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. You know, there are links down below to receive this and many other 
bonus materials as be as a member of the patreon community I'm really glad that you're here either way if you haven't already please click the like button I hope that you'll subscribe to this channel and we will uh, see each other sometime soon we got a couple last questions chorus line two are you still playing a from the end of line one let's take a look at that Tim chorus line two am I still playing a from the end of line one yes so to everything turn, turn, turn. there is a season so yes Tim the you are still strumming an a chord here it's on the word season that the D chord comes in very good question you can usually assume that the chords are the same unless there is a new chord inserted okay and I put the chords over the words that they line up with most of them for this song are on the downbeat okay so my friends thank you for joining in I hope that you enjoy playing and sharing this uplifting song with your friends with your loved ones with your ukulele strumming friends appreciate you joining me again so wishing you and your families a wonderful wonderful day many blessings good health and happiness to you really appreciate you joining me i look forward to seeing you in another video soon thank you have a wonderful day plan Thanks very much, everybody. Have a blessed day. Looking forward to seeing you sometime soon.